Hey loves, Jay here with your mid-February reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you have Aquarius anywhere in your chart. Keep in mind this reading is general, so it's not going to resonate with everyone out there. Take the parts that do resonate and apply to your life however it fits. It fits. <laughs> Cross watchers, you're also welcome. Your spirit message that I'm picking up, um, Aquarius, I'm hearing that things haven't really changed. Some of you are in a place of still feeling stuck, and some of you are waiting for a change, but you're not making efforts to make the change. Okay, so that's not going to show up for everyone, but I do still feel a very stagnant energy that some of you may still be doing the same thing, hoping for a different result. And that is the definition of insanity. Okay. And so this is not to say that you are an, an insane person, but you're hoping for change. I feel like it's an energy of hoping for something to change, but you're not actually doing the work to make it happen. So let's pull out your oracles and we'll clarify each of those with tarot. All right, so your current energy here is the dreamer, okay? And some of you could be in this place of dreaming this hopeful energy, this full energy in the traditional tarot here. Your advice for the month is the three of fire. And your final outcome is the ego that is coming up for you. All right, so let's hop into this energy here. And I'm hearing spirits say, don't fight it. Don't fight it. Don't fight. Someone needed to hear that. Okay, so the full energy is this energy of a new start, a new beginning. But I'm also feeling like a naivety energy coming from this where, again, some of you are in this hopeful place that things will change but you're not really doing anything to make the change. You're not doing anything to really start the journey, the new journey, the new outcome that you want. And some of you may just be feeling stuck and stuck in this distraction of an illusion that some of you may have created for your life in some sort of way. But I do feel like spirit is trying to nudge you, trying to push you off the cliff a little bit and, start, and trying to get you to step outside of your comfort zone so you can really see the big picture. Some of you need to have a different experience in your life right now in order to receive a different outcome. But I feel like it has been monotonous for some of you. The same things have been going on. The same actions have been taken. The same mentality has stuck with you. And I feel like some of you are like, but I'm okay. But who wants to just be okay? Right? We want to elevate to another level. We want to constantly keep growing. And some of you are growing at slower speeds than others and that's just how it works in the human existence but I do feel a stagnation for you here Aquarius and I really am hoping that you guys can move out of this energy sooner than later because it has been like this for months of just feeling like down and out and just feeling like you're stuck in something or stuck with someone or stuck in a position whatever this is but I do feel like there are signs that are happening around you, but I'm not sure that you are seeing them or really implementing them into your life because you're too distracted by what's right in front of your face. So some of you are wanting to take a leap and follow your dreams and, and there may be opportunities for that to come into your life, which means signs that could be coming up for you that, that, are, that are revealed to you, but you may not be seeing them due to distraction. But let's pull some tarot around this to get a little bit more clarity a little bit more clarity for you all right why is a dreamer here this is an opportunity for a new start for you remember zero is a very godlike energy so some of you are trying to tap in and tune in but some of you are confused on which direction to go in we have the princess of swords this is definitely your energy, right? I do feel that um, you're a very insightful person. I'm feeling a lot of intellect coming from you. I'm feeling a sense of knowing, but there's a fear. There's a fear of stepping into something. Not sure what that reason is for you specifically, but there is a fear that is coming up. Some of you are curious about something and you want to explore something else, but there feels like a but. There's something you're holding on to, a fear from the past, a thought, 
uh, something that uh, if someone said to you, you can't do this or you're not worthy of this or whatever. So I feel like you have your sights set out to take this new journey, but it's almost like your feet are planted on the ground is what I'm feeling from this energy. And this is normally a very, um, an energy or a, the, the princess of swords is a card of, um, of insight and cure being curious about things. And like I said, I don't think that's going to go away for you. You do have a lot of curiosities and you do want to learn a lot, but again, what are you doing with the knowledge that you've learned? And I feel like I've said that in a, in a past reading before. What are you doing with what you learned? I'm hearing to turn it around, or maybe you need to turn around. The star. Also your energy. Mm, love this. Also your energy. So you guys need to pour into something. Again, this energy of hopefulness is coming up. You're hopeful about something, hopeful to be seen. Whatever this is here, Aquarius, whatever this is that you're trying to bring to fruition, you have to do your part. You have to do your part in order for this to happen. And for some of you, it is this, this element of your spiritual work, your conscious work that you need to pour into. Because some of you are just getting to know yourselves. You're in this place of just learning how to expose and explore different aspects of yourself and, and showcase that and be vulnerable. I feel like you're now in this place where you're like, I'm beginning, I'm beginning to open up to this bigger world and show my star power here. But there's some wounds that are in there's wounds that I'm carrying around. I'm hearing I'm carrying around these wounds and I'm scared. I'm scared to show people. I'm scared to show people my flaws. I'm scared to show people my weaknesses. And so it's harder for me to step into this because I fear that I'll be rejected in some sort of way. That's what she's saying to me, this star. Some of you are also holding on to things from the past. Like I've said, whether people have said things to you or whatever this is, holding on to people, holding on to traumas from the past. Look how, that's the first time I'm hearing the fire truck today. And I always feel, <laughs> I'm always in the middle of a reading when I hear a fire truck pass by where I feel like it's like a sign, that a sign for you to pay attention. It's a warning sign. It's like a warning sign or it's a sign for you to take a step back when we see when we see the ambulance or fire truck, oh, and there's more than one. <laughs> when we see this, we pull off to the side. We pull off to the side to, to let them go by, but it's a moment that we just take a break. We take a break to let something pass. And I feel like this is your opportunity to let something pass, let something go. Let something go and you don't even need to follow it, but you have to just let it go. Let it let it slip away. Some of you need to let it go. Some of you have things that you need to heal because I am hearing again, like I said from the star, she's reminding me that I have wounds that I don't want people to see and I don't really want to expose them. I'm not ready yet, but some of you are getting ready. Some of you are exposing them, but there still feels like there may be a stagnation with you fully letting go of something. I feel like as long as you continue to pray and meditate and do whatever spiritual practice you may have to get yourself in alignment, whatever is going to boost your esteem or motivate you in some sort of way or help you tap in and tune in, that's exactly what you need to continue to do in order to build more strength because you have to build. It's like it's like going to work out at the gym. <laughs> You, you want to build your muscle mass when it comes to strength, when it comes to faith and trust, you have to build that. You have to keep praying. You have to keep meditating. You have to keep strengthening that brain muscle so that you can tune out the thoughts or be one with the thoughts and connect to your inner guidance. Okay, so that's the current energy that some of you are in. Not everyone, like I said, it's not going to resonate for everyone. And then we have the three of fire as your advice. 
this is saying that abundance is on the horizon for you and things are starting to they're going to be looking good for you so this is good spirit is saying have patience because i know some of you have been in a whirlwind of emotions and this discon feeling disconnected and distracted things are about to change things are going to be looking good for you but make sure you stay patient so this is an opportunity for you to dream is what i'm hearing make long-term plans and goals for your life and see what comes up for you because some of you have been so distracted where you haven't had time to dream and dreaming is also very important especially we are in your season by the way here are aquarius happy birthday to you but um this is an opportunity for you to dream during your season okay and we are still believe in aquarius moon so the, the aquarius has many placements right now on a different planet so this is a good time i'm hearing to get acclimated to get aligned okay so why is this three of fire here the moon is coming out the queen of swords your energy Cancer, Pisces energy here. Emotions. Emotions are getting in the way of your success and abundance is what I'm hearing. Some of you are holding on to things from the past. Things that you did and things that you didn't do is what I hear. It's been a long journey where you've had ups and downs. You've had dark and light moments and some of you were tuning out your emotions I don't know why but some of you were tuning out your emotions in some sort of way but spirit is asking you to reconnect with that element of yourself the moon I'm even seeing the Sun trying to peek behind the moon as well which lets me know of letting go of things things that have come up for you it's time for you to let go of and to really shine or or shine a light on some of the things that keep that that you keep revisiting some of the emotions that you keep revisiting they're recurring for a reason to get your attention attention so how can you shine the light on that healing is going to be big for you that's why the star energy here is here that is a card of renewal and so i feel like it's also a card of healing so some of you are going to be needing healing this month uh, and moving in and throughout the year as well because there's I'm hearing a recovery phase this is a recovery phase for some of you some of you have been through a lot and this is a time for you to begin your healing process and some of you are going to need facilitators to help you through this as well this is not just you healing and waiting for time to pass so that you can let go of things this is actually taking the action to remove energy blockages for you okay because I feel like some of you are battling internally some of you are even having crazy dreams of things that are playing out in your physical world. They're showing up even more wild in your dream states here. Queen of Swords. This feels like you needing to be open and be open to setting boundaries for yourself for a change, for a shift. There's too many people in your energy too many people in your environment, too many distractions around you. It's like some of you are not able to see clearly because there's just so many things that it's compiling on you. It's holding you down. You're holding on to. And it's not just about every everything else. I feel like some of these people are showing you, whether conscious or unconsciously, some of these people are in your space are showing you some of the things that are happening in your life. Some of the things that you're feeling uncomfortable with are things that you really need to look at within yourself here Aquarius so this is an opportunity for growth and for healing like I've said there's a lot of a lot of talking that you need to do I'm not gonna say a lot of talking but there's talking some of you are even needing to write if you write music writing music is a good thing for you to sort of let your emotions out and also journaling for you um, there are a lot of things going on in your mind that just keeps com being compiled um, amongst uh, lots of emotions, things that come up from the past, you're triggered in some sort of way. Writing is going to be good for you. So that is part of the advice is writing. Writing as well as clearing out some of these energies that are in your space. This is the reason why I'm saying 
energy clearing is going to be beneficial for you to clear out some of this space. So um, it feels like perceptions, perspectives have become yours that weren't even yours. It definitely feels like your energy is sort of clouded by everyone else's. It feels like a very, because the moon is here, this is in a very, a very empathic energy here. Like I said, things are playing out in your dreams because it is happening in your subconscious. But I do feel like you're holding on to other people's energies and it's, 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 you're out of control. <laughs> Sometimes you're feeling out of control, the Hierophant here. So this is definitely saying you need a facilitator. You need help to get you through this. A teacher, a mentor, whatever this is, you need someone to help you through something. And for some of you, when I pull the Hierophant sometimes, I do think about counseling between you and someone. But this is bringing you together, bringing something together. And maybe for you, this is bringing all of your emotions, your traumas all together so that you can finally let them go, that you can take this sword and cut through some of the thoughts and the feelings that you have been experiencing, the traumas as well. But again, this Hierophant is just clarifying that you guys need a facilitator to help you through some of this healing and of uh, the traumas that you have experienced here or some of you are still experiencing that you definitely need some help in order for things to change which they are going to change it is going to be the inevitable but there is an opportunity for you to miss this change to miss this abundance coming into your life if you're constantly sitting around waiting for things to uh, things to unfold and you're not doing the work. So the most important thing for you here, Aquarius, is you have to do the work in order to see a change, okay? Your final outcome is the ego. All right, and this is false self-mass, a false sense of entrapment. This is being overly focused on material things, and this is why I feel like some of the material things or in people that are in your life are distracting you from your internal work. So these could be negative or fear-based thoughts that are coming out, coming up. Again, wearing a wearing a mask. If you guys have yet to take a look at my February reading, I believe we talk about how some of you are in this position of, you know, sort of faking it till you make it. You know, you're in this position of making people people think or making people feel like oh everything's okay when really you're struggling internally okay so let's see why this ego card is coming up and you guys can work with Archangel Joe uh, Jophiel to help you through releasing this sense of uh, self entrapment and all of the distractions around you so you can look into that Archangel Two of Swords, your energy here. So lots of thoughts, um, lots of emotions, again, feeling trapped, feeling like you're stuck at an impasse here where you don't know what decision should I make? What are you needing? What do you need to make a decision about? That moon is showing up again here. So lets me know that it's your thoughts and emotions are sort of, they're, they're not, they're aligning in a very chaotic way. They're not in alignment. You're not in alignment because your energy is being pulled in different directions. And again, the distractions are causing you a headache. Some of you like a physical headache. Some of you have body aches. Some of you are, you know, something is manifesting physically for you because it feels like you're just trapped in an energy and for some of you, it feels like an energetic, like a spiritual warfare that some of you are going through. It's not funny, but it's one of those things where you're just like you're trapped in other people's energies right now. and You can't even see clearly, but it's because there's so many people in your space, whether they're in your environment physically or they're just in your aura. That's why you need a clearing. OK, I also offer remote clearings as well, um, which can be very, very beneficial in seeing what energies are attached to you, connecting with your guides and angels and seeing how you can move forward in this situation and on this journey, okay, because you're definitely needing it right now. So that energy of you being trapped in the ego, the material things of, oh, I have this, I have that, therefore I'm better than you, or I feel like I'm on top of the world, but that doesn't make any part of you. And if that's the only thing that makes you happy, there is a problem. There is 100% a problem if material things make you 
Okay, so if material things and praise make you feel better about yourself, you do have a bigger issue. Okay, and I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. You have a bigger issue than what you think. We have the Six of Pentacles energy. So this is you needing to find some balance. So you need to find, okay, you do whatever you want to do, Aquarius, honestly. These are suggestions. But you have to find something that's going to ground you and give you some balance here because Again, I'm all over the place. Your emotions fluctuate throughout the day. Um, one minute, I feel like you want to cry. The next minute, you're angry about something. Next minute, you're snapping. The next minute, you're happy. Next minute, you're like, let's go out and have a good time. And then you I don't want to be here. I feel drained and tired because your energy, for some of you, your portal is open right now. Therefore, all kinds of energies and entities can enter uninvited. Okay, so you need to do your work and have a facilitator help you with closing off that portal so that you can feel like yourself again. Okay, so I'm going to end at that because I, I feel my energy shifting and I need to get out of that. <laughs> so and I do hope that you do the same here, Aquarius. Thank you all so much for tuning in and choosing me as a reader. I know there are many other amazing tarot readers out there. So thank you for staying here to the end. Enjoy the rest of the month. Enjoy the rest of your birthday season. I will see you guys for March. Many blessings and love and light, guys. Peace.